Microsoft unveiled a new dashboard for Xbox. Let's take a walkthrough of the new experience. Who doesn't love a visual update? This week, Microsoft unveiled a new dashboard for the Xbox, and up on your screen is just a blazing beauty of what it's gonna look like. But you know what's better than an image would be a video walkthrough. And so if you are part of the Insider program, and if you're, an, I believe, an Alpha Insider or an Alpha Skip Ahead Insider, you can use this dashboard right now, which is what I am about to show you. So this is the first World look, if you premiere. will, of the new dashboard experience. And so I do have a dynamic background on there uh, just to kind of show you. And this is a more of a casual walkthrough because um, I, I did it in real time. So there you go. Anyway, so you can start to see the primary differences here. One, you get to see a lot more of your dashboard. You can see a dynamic background. It's flowing. It's beautiful. It's whatever. Uh, but the big changes here are obviously that you can see a lot more of that background. Everything is kind of smushed a little bit, a little bit smushed down towards the bottom. And then up at the top, you can see there's a new sort of quick nav bar, if you will. It's just sort of a, a way to get access to things quickly and also conveniently for Microsoft add more content to the dashboard without it being distractive. Now, if you look at the experience here, you can see that when you hover over a game, you're going to get some big game art experience. And Microsoft has done a good job here. One of my initial concerns before I was able to actually use it myself is that moving between these ex these game titles was going to be kind of a jarring experience, potentially like if they didn't do a good job with the transitions or something like that. But it does look like they did a pretty good job there. But as you can see, not every single title actually has it. I'm not sure why the GoldenEye, the 007 doesn't have it, but not every single title does and then starting to scroll down the page this is where it really begins to feel more like the old experience you can you can clearly see that this is just sort of a top level if you will update there's not a whole lot going on uh, below that fold everything down here looks pretty cut and dry vanilla so Microsoft is truly at least at this point only kind of updating the top here and so at this point, I'm starting to poke around and say like, well, maybe there's something under the hood because sometimes Microsoft doesn't really always tell us every single thing uh, that's coming. They just say like, look, focus on this. Don't look at everything else happening. Uh, but I didn't honestly find too much here. I started to try to play around with the groups a little bit to see like, hey, maybe there's some changes here, but I didn't really find much. You can see this is very much the current experience just on the updated uh, design. And we're not really seeing too much different here uh, at the end of the day. And so I think it's a pretty good update. Uh, you know, in my brief usage with it, I actually really like this sort of dynamic background. For one thing, it really helps if you're on a couch far away from the TV and you have old man eyes, not saying that I do, and you can't really read every single little title there. It really makes it easier to understand what is happening on the, on the, the display. It makes it easier to see. Now, again, just poking through here, uh, I wanted to go through and change the background. And I was like, my home Xbox will come back in a second. But I went back through into the dynamic backgrounds because, hey, that blue one, maybe it wasn't your jam. You can see here's Redfall, which apparently is getting not great reviews. And so you can see uh, some of the other updates here and, and just not really, I'm not finding anything. How, like, I love to look through the settings. This is what I do. I find I find joy and try to find these things. Uh, so I went back to just changing the dynamic wallpaper. One thing I did notice, and I'm not sure exactly why, it felt like these things took a little bit longer to load than maybe I'm used to. And this is on a Series S, I should note, running at 4K. Uh, but it just they just felt like they were a little, I don't know if they were actually downloading and I didn't use them on this uh, particular box. But as you can see here, the older dynamic backgrounds that shipped, I think this one shipped out of the box. I cannot remember. I could be incorrect on that assumption um, that they do still work. Now, one interesting thing, the reason what I was checking here is what's nice is that when you're quickly moving through the titles, like this, you're not getting that background splash and it's not a jarring experience. I, again, I can't emphasize enough that that was an initial concern. And then you can also see from, and I initially thought this wasn't happening, but if you look, that title uh, gets larger when you when you select a game or whatever, when you're hovered over it, it actually does increase in size. So it becomes easier to read. Again, that's a nice little, a little feature that makes it easier to see where and which cursor you are selecting. But at the end of the day, there's not too much different here. Microsoft spent a lot of time, according to their blog post, to make changes that we're going to love, changes we're going to like. But it's really just sort of the same design, just smooshed down and, and dropped down a little bit lower. They still have plenty of space for those ads that they love down at the bottom, although in their demos they show elite controllers. 
Uh, but here you can see going through the search experience. I believe this is the slightly updated search experience. But I got to tell you, this page feels dated. Like I, I think Microsoft, I'm hoping, let me, let me qualify that. I am hoping that the dashboard is just the beginning of sort of the refresh and modernization uh, and modernizations, maybe over characterizing it, but updating of the other assets within the, the, the experience, because that search panel feels very windows 10, even a little bit windows eight at the end of the day. Um, but it's nice. I think Microsoft listened to the feedback, which, you know, they claim they did, but they really did take the feedback to heart and updated um, the dashboard in a meaningful way that I don't think is going to anger too many people. The general consensus on Twitter, at least if you follow me at BD Sams, is that, yeah, this is a great move. And then there's always going to be people who, uh, for whatever reason, just can never be happy and say, like, this is the wrong thing. There's too many ads. And maybe there are. You know, it, I'm not saying that I wouldn't mind if you could push that first row all the way down to the bottom so you don't see anything down below. That would be probably the cleanest and minimalistic experience that we could ever potentially see. That being said, Microsoft has their requirements where they need to put certain content to try to get you to click on it, such as that Peacock claim your perks now, that sort of stuff, enter for a chance to win and that sort of thing like that stuff, unfortunately, is not going to be going away here. And so then you can see here, speed it up just a little bit. And that's the, you know, the classic Xbox dashboard, if you will. And now we're back to the beginning, which um, kind of takes you to a wrap. So I'm curious, do you guys think that this is the right maneuver? I personally think it is. I, I think there's always room for improvement. This is, what what I don't know is this is the first, technically, I guess, the second iteration. This is the second iteration that we've seen from Microsoft. The question is, are they going to continue to iterate on this? Or is this going to be the final design that they start shipping? I suspect that we'll see little tweaks and refinement because this is the first time that it's been made publicly available. And if Microsoft's you know history is any predictor of the future, that would be my expectation. But until they say, look, we're going to continue to make refinements and start shipping some of those refinements, then we don't really know. I hope that we, like that search area at the top, I would love it if we could actually customize those buttons. Um, personally, I don't need the store up there. Searches does that for me. I would love to be able to put different functionality up there, uh, potentially even like friends list or other shortcuts that are a little bit more meaningful. But Microsoft be Microsoft and you can have that bar up there any way you want it as long as it's the way that we choose sort of thing. It's the whole Henry Ford style quote for whatever, whatever. So uh, I don't know, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you have this new dashboard? If you have it, does it feel any faster? Does it feel any better? I'm not noticing really any performance improvements. I'm also noticing that it's not HDR. So the, that can put that to bed. But either way, guys, uh, that is your first look at the new dashboard. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want more changes? We'll see what Microsoft has in the future. The most important thing to know is that they are listening to feedback. And the second most important thing is that the only BS on this channel is me.